This science fiction story begins in a city where martial law has been declared. Under martial law, no one can leave their homes because advanced aliens from another world have arrived, intending to wipe out human civilization and establish their new species or colony here. Consequently, they are continuously attacking humans. All governments have combined their military forces to fight these aliens. There are riots everywhere and an atmosphere of fear prevails. We then see a family inside a car, trying to leave the city as quickly as possible for another place. Although everyone is trying to stop them, the parents want to save their children. However, they had no idea that things would become even more dangerous. Suddenly, halfway through their escape, the aliens surround them. Using their abilities and powers, the aliens vaporize the children's mother and father, but they leave the two children, Gabriel and Ray, alive. The reason for this is still unknown. Now, a few years later, in the year 2027, we see the aftermath. Over the years, there have been many battles between the aliens and humans. However, due to the aliens' advanced technologies, they won the war and now enslave all humans. Everyone has to do what the aliens want. The aliens have built many underground bunkers with the help of humans, where they keep their entire colony. Only government officials have permission to go underground, as dictated by the aliens. The aliens have also implanted strange chips on all humans to track them. This way, the aliens want to control the human race. Now, we see Ray, the older brother of the two surviving children. Ray wants to rebel against the aliens with his entire team. In this effort, he undertakes many missions, but unfortunately, he dies in one of them. When Gabriel learns of his older brother's death, he becomes extremely despondent. Gabriel used to work for a data science company, but now he knew that if the aliens discovered he was the brother of Ray, they would come after him to kill him as well. Therefore, Gabriel starts looking for a safe place to hide. Gabriel's older brother, Ray, used to work for a company called Phoenix. Phoenix is a secret organization that plans to fight against the aliens and eliminate them. Now, the aliens hire a lawyer named William to capture Gabriel by any means. William knew that if he did not do what the aliens asked, he too would be killed. Therefore, he continuously searches for Gabriel. William knew Gabriel because he had worked with Gabriel's father years ago. So, William tries to extract information about the Phoenix organization from Gabriel, but Gabriel genuinely does not have any information about it. William even offers Gabriel a chance to join his team, but Gabriel clearly rejects the offer and leaves. Seeing an opportune moment, William secretly places a GPS tracking device on Gabriel's body to keep track of where Gabriel is going and whom he is meeting. Gabriel then goes directly to a friend, who hints that he needs to go to the Phoenix organization group and provide them with a message. Gabriel realizes that after his brother's death, he needs to take over the next steps. Therefore, he arrives at a secret base that is completely deserted. There, Gabriel meets a man who takes him inside the Phoenix secret organization headquarters in his van. This was the place where the aliens had caused significant destruction, but now no one comes here. However, no one knew that the Phoenix organization had set up their base here. As soon as Gabriel enters, he sees his older brother Ray, who is still alive. Gabriel hugs Ray and asks, I thought you were dead. Then, Ray explained everything. While he was fighting the aliens with his team, many missions had failed, and Ray had to deliberately declare himself dead so that the aliens would not pursue him. Ray said that he had removed the GPS tracking device from his body, making it impossible for the aliens to track him and his team. However, they had very little time to get rid of the aliens. They were about to undertake a major mission against the aliens, which could be so dangerous that many lives might be lost. Ray did not want to put his younger brother Gabriel in harm's way, so he told Gabriel that he needed to leave this place as soon as possible. Gabriel understood his brother's concerns completely. 
Ray and his Phoenix team planned to infiltrate a large rally organized by the aliens. This was a celebration for the aliens' conquest of humans. Many government officials who worked entirely for the aliens were also involved in these events. They had no choice, as the aliens would otherwise kill them. The rally was to be held in a massive stadium, and Ray and his Phoenix team wanted to target the government officials, incapacitate them, and then implant their GPS tracking devices into their own bodies. Currently, the Phoenix group members did not have any GPS devices, so the aliens could not track them. They needed the government officials' GPS devices because only a few selected government officials were permitted to enter the stadium. If they could get permission, the Phoenix group planned to enter the stadium and use an advanced nuclear bomb, designed by the aliens themselves, to eliminate them. This bomb was highly advanced and could not be tracked. With the press of a button, it could become invisible. After planning everything carefully, they began hacking to kidnap the government officials who were scheduled to attend the rally. After removing all the chips from the bodies of the government officials, they implanted them into their own bodies, allowing them to gain entry into the stadium. A few days later, this scenario unfolded as planned. The Phoenix members managed to get inside the stadium, where the aliens and other attendees were celebrating. The Phoenix team then activated the nuclear bomb created by the aliens, causing a massive nuclear explosion. Many aliens were killed, but unfortunately, humans also perished in the blast. Chaos erupted everywhere as people scrambled to save their lives. Due to the enormous explosion, large alien forces arrived at the scene, trying to capture all the Phoenix members. William, along with soldiers, also arrived, determined to capture them by any means necessary. Several of Ray's companions were killed by the aliens. When the aliens entered a bus where Ray was hiding, he narrowly escaped because he was in a confined space. However, William cleverly shot Ray in the legs and finally captured him. Meanwhile, Gabriel was shown continuously following the path his brother had indicated, trying to escape the city. Unfortunately, William used the GPS tracking device he had placed on Gabriel to arrest him as well. Gabriel was brought to a central location where his brother Ray was being tortured. Ray was refusing to reveal the name of the mastermind behind the Phoenix group, even under severe torture. William then threatened Gabriel, saying that if he did not reveal the mastermind, Ray would be killed. Despite Ray's plea to Gabriel not to disclose the information, as it would completely dismantle the Phoenix group, Gabriel, desperate to save his brother, agreed to help. Gabriel promised William that he would find out who the Phoenix group's mastermind was. Gabriel then went directly to the remaining members of the Phoenix group and deceitfully told them that he had identified the mastermind, referred to as number one. Gabriel claimed that he had very important information and that this information could only be shared with number one. Given the critical nature of this information, the Phoenix group decided to send Gabriel to meet number one. Once Gabriel reached number one, he found out that she already knew his name. It turned out that number one was a close friend of William. At this point, many soldiers arrived at Gabriel's location with the help of the GPS tracker. They first killed number one, as she was the leader of the Phoenix group and the mastermind behind it. Her death severely weakened the Phoenix group and eliminated their ability to resist the aliens. Further investigation revealed that Number One had been involved in prostitution and had used this to trap government officials and extract information from them. The city commissioner had also visited her, providing information about the rally where the Phoenix group had carried out a massive explosion. Once the aliens learned about these details, they removed the minister from his position. After the mastermind's death, Ray and the remaining Phoenix team members were relocated to an asteroid, shifting them to another planet to ensure they would never reach the aliens. William did an excellent job, and as a result, the aliens appointed him as their new minister. William then went to Gabriel, 
who was deeply saddened by the loss of all his friends and the fact that his beloved brother was now on a distant planet. William knew that the aliens were keeping an eye on him through the GPS tracking device, so he said very little to Gabriel and left him a memory card. When Gabriel played the memory card, he discovered that number one, who had been the mastermind of the Phoenix group, was actually a friend of Gabriel's mother. They had known each other for a long time, and William was also part of their group. It was revealed that the entire group was a new Phoenix force, united to fight against the aliens. So, William was doing all this with a purpose, to gain the aliens' trust and then destroy them from the root. He aimed to earn their trust and eliminate them completely. According to the footage, Gabriel was now supposed to lead the Phoenix group and take it forward. Gabriel found his purpose here. On the other hand, William was entering the most crucial base of the aliens on the ground, where no one was allowed. Since William's position had risen significantly, he was granted permission to enter. This entire zone was called the Close Zone, where the aliens operated and kept an eye on everything from their headquarters. At that moment, William was shown with the same invisible nuclear bomb that he had set up to detonate. It was revealed that the real mastermind of the Phoenix group was not number one, but rather William himself. He had been trying from the beginning to devise a strategy to destroy the aliens. The previous blast at the rally was only meant to distract the aliens. William wanted to appear favorable in the eyes of the aliens and elevate his position, so he could reach the main alien headquarters where everything was operated from. William then detonated the nuclear-powered alien technology bomb, which destroyed the entire underground alien headquarters. The explosion killed the main aliens, causing the lower-level aliens scattered around the world to become significantly weakened. This was a positive development, as people everywhere began to raise their voices for their rights. They formed their own organizations to reclaim their freedom from the aliens. Gabriel also supported these efforts and motivated people that they could regain their freedom. In the end, humans united and destroyed the aliens, reclaiming their Earth. And so, our story ends here.